make shapes with 3D pen. The ones with right angles, like the cube, are always easier to make than, let's say, tetrahedron, which is full of sharp corners. And make no mistake, acute angles, those are the ones smaller than 90 degrees, do come up all the time and are trickier than all the other ones, hence the separate video. Right angles are easy to make because, let's face it, life is full of square objects you can use to help you create the perfect 90 degree angles. But when we want to make an angle smaller than 90 degrees, we will need some additional help, like an angle jig. There is a previous video on how to make this angle making tool. The link is in the description. We have used this tool in the past videos, like for the octahedron, for example, and it was easy. No big deal. However, acute angles present some unexpected additional challenges. For one, the angle jig won't stay set in the way that will let you work on the work surface next to your tool. Also, the sharper the corner, the harder it is to fit your pen in it. So what do you do when you need a 70 degree angle for a tetrahedron, for example? We will need to set the angle jig so the 70 degrees is the inside angle on the angle tool. And that means we will have to work around the jig, underneath it or on top of it. And both ways are a bit counterintuitive. So bear with me, I will explain. Let's start with the easy part and make the four equilateral triangles first. If you plan to make your shape solid, you will need to be able to control the surface texture. Because, as you can see, the plastic as it comes out of the pen shows some pretty heavy layer lines. One way to instantly make it smoother is to work on a smooth surface. This one is a plexiglass sprayed with matte acrylic finish. One side stays rough. However, the other side looks a lot better. There are layer lines visible, but it's already way smoother and definitely sandable without having to use any additional heat smoothing tool. Alternatively, you can also optionally iron the pieces between two Teflon sheets to get perfectly smooth surface without any layer lines on both sides of your triangle which will save sanding time later. The shapes tend to spread out a little during the ironing process, so they will need a trim. But the original triangle also had uneven sides, so it needs a trim either way, to get your faces all the same size, with straight edges that fit together precisely, or the final shape won't fit together at all. If you skip the ironing step, just make sure the rough surfaces face the inside of the shape. Now, here is what I call the clamshell trick. I need to join the first two triangles together at 70 degree angle. And I will form that angle while the connecting plastic is still hot and flexible straight out of the pen, before it has a chance to solidify which means I will need to get it under the angle tool quickly before it cools too much. And here we go. Now hold until it's cold. Alternatively, you can also set the top of the angle tool to 70 degrees and work on the top edge, if that feels more comfortable. Just make sure you don't squeeze too hard. 
to deform the angle setting while it's cooling. Now that the angle between the first two faces has been set, you can measure it if it's the desired 70 degrees. Yep, it is! The other way to check is that the next triangle should just fit right in. Luckily, there is enough access for the pen to complete the two inner seams. And now for the last piece, which is always a challenge. still connect one side working with the soft plastic. But the last two seams will inevitably need to be joined from the outside, which makes for way messier seams. smooth now, but just the corners to make them look all the same. Grind some of the excess plastic off and sand until I'm happy with the surface. Or I just give up, because sanding is never quite done. Here is our finished tetrahedron, full of acute angles. And if you can make those, all other angles will be easy. Here is a video about that. So go and make something. <laughs>